Hey guys, it's me, Carrie, and yeah, it's been a minute. I haven't really had much I felt like talking about, to be perfectly honest. I've just been going through a rough couple of months, but um, today I have a Brat Box unboxing, so that is reason enough to come out of hiding. This is the June 2023 Brat Box. Cannot tell you for the life of me what theme I picked. I have no recollection whatsoever, but I do have Brat Box for a new year, which is amazing because my amazing friend Billy. And seriously, like if you guys wanted to, without my official endorsement, start like a my amazing friend Billy drinking game for when you watch these videos, I do not want to be held accountable for the results, but it would be pretty funny to watch. <laughs> but anyway, my amazing friend Billy, who gifted me the subscription last year, renewed it for me for another year, which is beyond, but that's who she is. Um, this year, I, however, I went with the option to choose all pins instead of the pins in the patch option that I got last year. Not that I didn't love the patches, because I do. I have a dozen rad-ass patches now, thanks to that. But, um, I just, I'm more into the pins. I'm running out of places to put patches, whereas fortunately slash unfortunately, um, you can always find room for more pins. I mean, I can always buy another cork board for pins. I mean, ostensibly you run out of wall space eventually, but that would take a pretty long time. Anywho, I digress. So thank you to the amazing Billy. That's not technically it. I have to say my amazing friend, Billy. Ah! Um, you're welcome. But anyway, Thanks to her, I have this again for another year. So this will be going through May of 2024, which means next year I will get my birthday month at the very end, as opposed to the beginning, like last year. So anywho, let's dive in. Just opening it, not looking, just gonna reach in. Each of these boxes, if you are not familiar with Brat Box, um, contains either, I wanna get this right, because I always screw it up, three pins, a patch and a sticker, or four pins and a sticker. You can choose which option you would prefer. I feel the sticker. Oh, but I am. Missing Jackalope. That's adorable on the little milk carton. That is so cute. That is very, very cute. I like that sticker. And it's like a matte finish. It's pretty cool. All of the artists represented in Brat Boxes, by the way, are independent artists. So... It's not like stuff you're gonna find in Hot Topic, say. You know, this is this is really cool and helps support, you know, true indie artists that are trying to, you know, with varying levels of success. I'm not saying that everybody out there is a starving artist. Some of them are doing great, but they're doing it, you know, the way indie artists do. So anyhow, always good to support that. Oh, there's a bunch of stickers in this one. Maybe I got a bunch of stickers last year too in my first, I don't remember. But anyway, here's the second one. It's adorable it's a baby gator or croc um there's a really horrible movie called roller gator yes you're welcome i do not recommend you look for it however if you can find the rift tracks version of it i highly recommend that it is quite a sight to behold uh yeah there's a sheen in it not the one you would expect not the estevez you would expect it's joe but it's really funny. But anyway, it's called Roller Gator. So I'm going to assume this is a baby gator. And baby gator is what they call him in the movie. So that's my baby gator. Be nice to you. I need to learn that. I need to tattoo that on my face. That is really cute. That might be my favorite sticker I've ever gotten in any Brad box. Truly. I love that one. Okay. This. Oh, this is adorable. I feel like some of these I might have gotten before. I might have, but I'm not complaining. Look at this Cthulhu with the little paper boat. How freaking precious is that? That is so cute. These are really rad. You usually just get one sticker per box, so this must be because it's a new subscription. Oh, this is really cute. I'm assuming this is the way it's intended, but it's little like googly eyes on an orange. My friend Abby once, I, I don't remember if she was the prankster or the pranked, but I know it involved Abby and someone putting googly eyes all over things in someone else's refrigerator. So like the milk would be staring at them and the juice and the butter. And I just think that's the raddest fucking thing. And I love that that happened in my lifetime and that my friend Abby was involved in it in one way or the other. But um, that's what that sticker reminds me of. This is really cute too. I like this sour lemon. Yes, this is this is me in fruit form most of the time. Very sour and tangy. 
and getting sad. But anyway, love that. Love, 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 love that one. And then last but not least, this is kind of rad. I wasn't loving it at first, but it's grown on me very quickly. So you've got this ostensibly a woman's or a girl's hand, although not necessarily. I guess you can't really tell gender by a hand and an arm holding the skull. But up there, you've got like that cool looking death's head moth, like from Silence of the Lambs. And the back is just very Jackson Pollocky to me, like sex pistols, like just the paint splatter. I don't know, reminds me of that kind of vibe. So this is actually a very cool sticker too, just not kawaii in the way that the others all are, but um, doesn't everything doesn't have to be. It's spoopy cute. Okay, and then we're getting to, this right here is the envelope. This right here, I don't know where that accent came from. This right here is the card that contains, the envelope that contains artist cards for each and every artist represented in this box. Typically you get four, unless you choose the curated artist of the month. I didn't get, into that either sorry i'm all over the place today i'm a little stoned but um there are three options for each box regard you know aside from whether you want the three pins and four uh three pins and a patch or four pins there are other choices involved which include which theme you want and each month they are, is a curated artist that designs everything in that box and then there are two additional themes that you can choose from and again i cannot remember mine for the life of me when we get to the pins when i shut up and stop over speaking and over sharing that's the word <coughs> maybe we'll get to that but anyway i digress so the artist cards are for the um four artists represented um and yeah, and I have no idea what my theme was, but the artist's card will probably be the same for everybody, unless you just, like I said, choose that one curated artist, and then you'll just get the one card. Because um, I believe they have the same artist design, the patch, if you get one, as the pins. Like, I, I think that they're involved in both the patch and the pin for that month, but I'm not 100% sure. Because I've never known, like, how to pinpoint which card goes with the patch artist as opposed to the pin artist unless one of the pin artists also designed the patch but the patches don't generally have any watermarking or indicators that I can see of who made them oh we have more stickers this is really cute oh my gosh so it's like a weddingy looking cake with a um cleaver is that what that is yeah inside and intestines coming out Notice I didn't stumble over intestines. That's really rad. I love that. I think that's it for stickers. Okay. Yes. Now I definitely feel a pin. So what we will do at the end um, when I'm summing up, and I will try to be quicker, is share with you a little info for the art from the artist cards. Okay. First pin we've got is, ta-da! Oh, the ocean. That was my theme. The theme for this month was the ocean. So this is really cute. I'm trying to figure out, I guess he's supposed to, yeah, he's sitting on the rock contemplatively and his spout is spouting. <laughs> yeah, that's the word for it. He's, he is spouting water from his spout, I guess. I don't know what is that called. That is very cute. He's very contemplative and serious and I kind of like that in a whale. I also kind of like that he has hands and feet because why not? That's really cute. Then we have a blam number two. I have gotten something from these are things before. I'm almost certain. And this says Krabby. This is so amazing. This is definitely, I have now, this will now be my 13th rat box that I've received. And I would definitely, without hesitation, put this in the top five pins I've ever received from them. That is so my vibe and so my aesthetic. I love that he's pouting. I love that his pincers are up like ready to grab somebody in the freaking balls. Oh, I love that. That's great. <laughs> Very easy to impress. Okay, so that's number two. Number three. But blam We have... Oh, it's a stingray! I love stingray. Stingray or manta ray. I'm not sure how you can tell which. I'm not sure how you would know, but it's a ray and I love rays. That is really cute. And I love the colors of him too. And I don't know why I decided that's a him, but yeah, it's a him. Him's a boy. 
<laughs> All right, guys. And then we have one last pin. And then we get to the artist cards. Oh, blam. Ooh. Oh, my God. That's hysterical. Okay, so Robot Dance Battle. Talk about coming full circle. The very first box I got last year, which was my very first brat box ever, was the curated box I chose by Robot Dance Battle. And this is a baby shark pin. And I don't want to murder it, even though it's baby shark, because it's like a daddy shark or the mommy shark and the baby shark. And yeah, I'm not going to sing it because it what makes me want to like, I don't know, stick fork tines under my fingernail beds or something. I don't know. But yeah, it's not a good thing. But this pin is rad. I love this. If they did a robot dance battle curated box again, I would do it in a minute, in a freaking minute. This is probably my favorite artist that I've discovered through Bradbox. So props, props, props. Another out of the park winner. So yeah, that and the crab. But I also really love the other two. Like this overall may be my favorite box. Like, I mean, there are elements that are not my favorites. And there are elements of other boxes that I like more. But overall, for like the total vibe of a box... And overall customer satisfaction. I mean, aside from the fact of all the bonus stickers, which again, must be something that comes in your first box. I'm curious if you guys out there have subscriptions and you're doing them for a different time frame than a year, because Billy did mine for the year. Um, I'm curious if you're doing like one month at a time, or I think there's like a, every three months or every four months. If you're doing one of those, please let me know if you got extra stickers in your first box too, or if that's just something that goes to the annual subscribers. I would think that it would go to all the subs and that would just be a, like welcome. Well, no, maybe not though, because I guess you could then just keep canceling and renewing to get free stickers, which would be really shitty to do. But um, just saying, that honestly popped into my mind immediately. So I guess that's to prevent things like that from happening, maybe. Because they're doing something lovely and they deserve to be rewarded. Okay, getting to the artist cards. This is very exciting. Well, we'll start, we'll, we'll, we'll go in reverse. We'll start with Henry Sue of the robot, of the company Robot Dance Battle. And there he is. And I'm going to read the entire back of these cards because I feel like the artists deserve the shout out. So please forgive me if some of them are a little long. I will try to read them quickly. I know I've been going slow with everything else. Okay, Robot Dance Battle is from LACA. Hi, I'm Henry and I love cute things and the country of Japan. While I work in advertising as an art director, I've always been into illustrating things. In 2016, I decided to turn it into a new career path by creating Robot Dance Battle and making enamel pins, stickers, greeting cards, t-shirts, hats, and a few other types of stuff that I hope will bring a smile to your face. I am based in Los Angeles, and you will most likely catch me doodling new ideas in a coffee shop on weekends. Follow along with my latest creations on Instagram at Robot Dance Battle. Fun fact, I love coffee and one day I want to open a coffee shop where people pay by drawing stuff. But I would never be able to get any coffee from you because I suck at drawing. Unless you want someone else to open the coffee shop because you know you'd be solid in, tea, in coffee and tea for the rest of your life because you're a great artist. What are you thinking there, Henry? Um, either way, I love the idea though. That's very rad. Then we have These Are Things. And these are things are based in Columbus, Ohio. These are things is a collection of wearable accessories and paper goods by artists Jen Adrian and Omar Nouri. Each piece is designed in our Ohio studio, crafted with care and assembled by hand just for you. We make things, trademark, we love and hope you love them too. Fun fact, our brand is mostly designed by our two cats, Will and Dill. That's very cool. And they can be found on Instagram at, at these are things. They didn't include that specifically as a blurb, but I'm gonna do that for everybody because again, they all deserve props for being amazing. Then we have Lena Shaman or Shaman. I apologize that I'm one or the other getting your name incorrect. Um, the owner and illustrator of Turtle Heights. And Turtle Heights was, let's see, Robot Dance Battle, you guys will probably remember was Baby Shark. These are things was the awesome crab. Um, Turtle Heights is this rad, deep in thought whale. And let's read that card. Uh, Turtle Heights is created, is, excuse me, based in San Diego, California. 
I created Turtle Heights in 2018 to combine my surrealist perspective on ca California flora with the goal of destigmatizing cannabis. Brad. Vibrant colors and bold lines are essential to the expression of my artistic style. I draw inspiration from everything California offers, including palm trees, succulents, and desert cactus plants, the rolling waves of endless ocean, sea breeze, and of course, the absolute stickiest of turtles. Yeah, I mean weed. Fun fact, I consider myself a tumbleweed drifting through the world and collecting inspiration along the way. I grew up in Korea and also spent many of my formative years in Scotland and Ohio. In college, I tumbled to Paris for a few months, and over the last seven years, I've been tumbling around California with my fabulous husband, from San Francisco to Santa Cruz and now San Diego. All of these experiences influence my art heavily, and as I drift, aim to, I aim to spread my creativity. And the Insta for this page is, not surprisingly, at Turtle Heights. So you can check them out. And last, but definitely not least, we have, I want to say, Claire Van Valkenburg. If it's Claire, I apologize. I'm going to go with Claire, creator of Toku Arts. Okay, and she is based in Watertown, New York. Toku Arts started as a small side project to bring tokusatsu and kaiju-themed art to conventions. In 2018, with the success of their first enamel pin, the business turned into a full-scale operation, pushing out new designs every month. Within a few short years, they've amassed over 500, 500 designs, from dragons to frogs and everything in between. Fun fact, Thomas Middleditch has worn one of our pins to a red carpet event. That's very cool. And they can be found at Toku Arts on Insta. So, and they created the adorable little ray that's either sting or manta, I would imagine. I don't think there are any other kinds of rays, but maybe there are. So that is it for this box, you guys, in a really weird, hopefully interesting video. I apologize for the length, but you know I tend to ramble, and it's been a minute. Um, I hope you guys have a really awesome rest of your day. Happy Pride. It is June 1st. Yay, yay, yay. Tell me if you have any exciting, fun plans for Pride this month. They used to have a really rad, so I heard, parade here on Long Island. Um, I don't know if they've had it since COVID, but if they are having it this year, it's something I'm highly considering checking out because I just think that would be amazing. I've never been to a Pride event before. And I just think that would be so awesome as we come up on my anniversary of coming out as bi, which was a year ago, either tomorrow or the 4th, depending on if you count my coming out day as the day I first told another human, which was my therapist, or two days later, the 4th, when I told my loved humans, my best friend, my mom, and my husband. I haven't decided which day to count yet. But anyway, so coming up on that too. So, you know, it would be really cool to go to a Pride events to kind of, you know, embrace that in a public way. You know, that would be really, really rad. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm shutting up now for reals, I promise. Um, have a great rest of your day and I'll be back soon with more stuff. Soon even. Bye guys.